What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video talking about Overwatch. Now I know you guys are obviously subscribed to this channel for Call of Duty and that's mainly what this channel will always be no matter what. Uh, but I wanted to make a quick video talking about Overwatch because um, when I first saw the game I didn't think I would like it. Now if you guys are anything like me, you know, I don't have that much time to play video games but when I do have time I play Call of Duty because it's easy to jump into, it's familiar, you can play it for 15 minutes or 2 hours, it doesn't make a difference, it's easy uh, you know, to just get into, you can play with or without friends, and either way, you can have a good time playing it. So a lot of times when people hype up new games, new shooters, third person shooters, first person shooters, whatever, um, you know, there's a lot of hype around it for a week, two weeks, or something, uh, and then it kind of dies down, you don't really see any more videos about that game, you don't really hear about it anymore, uh, and it's not worth getting in my opinion, because people don't really play it as much after that, like, initial hype period. When Overwatch was announced and people were talking about the beta and stuff like this, I didn't know if that was, you know, the case with this game, if it was going to be just another hyped up thing, uh, I do know that it is you know a blizzard game obviously blizzard is a, a massive company uh they have really really awesome games hearthstone world of warcraft starcraft diablo you know all these amazing iconic games obviously um so you know i didn't think that it would be maybe like a uh like a you know just like a one hyped up instance of a game where it's only popular for a little bit i figured it would have longevity because blizzard does go for that with their games they support their games for a long time and that's just what they're known for. But when I first saw gameplay, I was like, this kind of looks like Team Fortress 2. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that game, but uh, the, that game I think is on Xbox and Steam. I think it's free to play on Steam uh, at this point, um, but it is a first person shooter. It's pretty cartoony looking and all the characters are different. They have different play styles and different specialties and things like that. Uh, and I've played Team Fortress 2 before and I did not like it at all. I could not get into it. I couldn't, I didn't understand why people loved it so much, even though there is a big community around the game I just personally couldn't get into it. it it wasn't fast enough paced for me I guess and I guess that probably comes from me just being like a Call of Duty whore I don't know if that's what you want to call it but that's basically what it is you know I mainly play Call of Duty because I just don't really get into a lot of other games when I have school and you know other things going on in my life so yeah when I first saw Overwatch I was like okay this is kind of Blizzard's version of Team Fortress 2, that's kind of what I thought, you know, all the characters are different, they all have their own play style, and it's cartoony, and it's a first person shooter, that's kind of what I associated it with right off the top of my, my head, um, and then a few days ago when I actually moved into this apartment, uh, a friend of mine that I'm actually living with had Overwatch, he was saying the game was really good, uh, and I've had other people ask me if, I, if I'm getting Overwatch, if I have Overwatch, you know, blah blah blah, and I've always been like, eh, you know, I don't, I don't really plan on getting it, whatever, um, but I didn't have internet down here, so... Um, I would go up to his place upstairs and we would play it, um, and I did that, I think there's two different days that we played Overwatch, you know, just passing the controller back and forth, and it was really fun, the game was really fast paced, I wasn't expecting that, um, the game, like I said, super fast paced, um, and it just felt amazing, the game felt really good, and a few days later I ended up buying Overwatch for myself, uh, and I obviously you're watching Overwatch gameplay right now, so I, I'm a huge fan of the game. So the main point of this video is, will Call of Duty players like Overwatch, and I want to talk about that because I don't think there's many people that are more Call of Duty whores than I am, I mean I've been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty 2. Um, so yeah, I've, I've played every single Call of Duty since then, I've owned all the Call of Duty since then, and it's just, that's the main game that I play. Obviously, you watch my channel, that's pretty much all I play. So, the one thing that I want to mention is I, I do think Call of Duty players will like this game because it's very fast-paced. There are definitely some differences, though, and I think these differences, if you are willing to work with them, make the game even better. And uh, I just want to talk about that. So, first, team-based or team-oriented gameplay is a must in Overwatch. I mean... You can play Call of Duty by yourself, right? You can go into Team Deathmatch, or you can go into Search and Destroy, or any game mode, right? And if you're in pubs, you have a good chance of doing well. Even if you're going up against, you know, a team of two or a team of three, uh, if you have good randoms, you know, you, you could do pretty well. I mean, there's instances where you can be, do 1v3s and things like that. So, 
you can do well in Call of Duty all on your own. Uh, it's uh, you know you can lone wolf it and have a good time. Um, and Overwatch is is the same way. But if if you go up against a team that's actually coordinated and communicating, you're probably going to lose. Uh, you know it's just that's the nature of the game. You know you have to work together as a team if you really want to be competitive, so to speak. Um, so you're going to do much better in a team, much better when you're communicating and plan your uh, heroes basically around one another. You know, you need a tank hero and a support hero and you need someone maybe who can um, defend a, an objective point really, really well, like, you know, Bastion is, is really good at that. Or maybe you need a sniper or someone that can, uh, you know, maybe get behind the enemy lines and kill them uh, fr from there. So. There's all different types of characters in Overwatch, and that's, you know, something that I also want to touch on, but, you know, first off, I just want to say, uh, you're going to have a lot more fun with this game, playing with friends, so, I'm not saying you can't play it by yourself, I play it all the time by myself, uh, and it's still really fun, but if you really, like, if you're really about the wins, you're really, you're really about getting the, 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 the W's, you don't want to take any L's, uh, you're going to probably have to find a couple of friends on here that are good, and, it's easy to find people to play with. I mean, people in on Overwatch know that that's the case, so I'm sure you can find people to party up with, people with mics and things like that, and coordinate with even just randoms that you just meet on the game. So that's one thing I want to talk about. If you're expecting to get Overwatch and expecting to be a one-man show, being like this dominant like one-man army, it's not gonna happen. So if that's all you like in Call of Duty, maybe this game isn't for you. Uh, but if you like holding your own weight and being a really good part of a team uh, and getting team kills and, and and working together and getting wins in that way definitely something for you definitely a great game the other thing i want to talk about is how all of the characters play differently so if you're familiar if you're familiar with mobas like uh, league of legends or dota this game feels kind of like a first person moba in my opinion because you have the people who do a lot of damage but they're squishy and by squishy i mean they have low health and then there's people who maybe don't do as much damage but they have a ton of health and they have maybe a stun move or some sort of supporting characteristic or they can heal themselves or something along those lines uh, and then you have support characters who are also squishy and they don't really deal any damage but they are really good at supporting the other players. They can keep the tank at full health. They can give uh, the high damage characters even more damage, so they deal. You know, they kill people instantly, um, and 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 the game works like that. And also, there's builders where they can build turrets and things like that. And there's snipers, uh, and there's you know stealth characters and things along those lines. So all the characters play very differently. You know, it's each character is unique in their own way. Uh, and I think that's really awesome. And, and the best part about that is all the characters are fun to play. And that's a huge thing for me because I've played League of Legends and sometimes if there's not a healer or a support or a tank or whatever, nobody really wants to fill that role because it's not as fun. You know, obviously if you want to play League uh, and you're all about those kills, you know, you're not going to get kills as a tank. And it's just a lot of fun to play as the killing character, you know, you want to get 20 kills in a game, you don't want to support 15 kills, you want to get those 20 kills, you want to be the guy to get the finishing blow on the enemy team. In Overwatch, you can get kills as a tank, you know, and, and that's really awesome, and I think that the fact that it's actually fun to play these other roles that aren't maybe damage oriented, you know, uh, like support, I've played support uh, myself, and it's really fun to support a character and have them, you know, if you assist 18 other kills or something, and you know that they're doing really well because you're helping them, it's, it's really fun to play all these different roles, uh, and that's coming from somebody who likes to be the guy with 25 kills on a team, you know, uh, the guy who loves a, a good kill to death ratio, you know, that's me, that's me all the time in any game I play, whether it's League or Call of Duty or, or whatever. So uh, that's a huge thing, you know, the fact that uh, Blizzard was able to make a game where not only do you need all of these units in a team, but it's actually fun for everybody to fill each of these roles. So it makes it a lot easier to go into pubs and find people who are willing to work with you in a team. And the other thing about every character being different is that they all play different. You know, if you play Call of Duty, you know that every time you jump into the game, you always have the same amount of health, no matter what specialist you pick, what gun you pick, no matter, you know, if it's a sniper or an SMG or whatever, you can camp, you can be mobile, whatever. Every time you play, the character controls the same, it has the same health, you can use any gun in the game, you can pick up other people's weapons, things like that. Overwatch is not like that. Some characters have 150 health, right? And they're super squishy and they die really fast, but they move really quick, you know? And in, in Call of Duty, everybody moves the same speed. 
some people move really fast in overwatch some people move really slow uh some people have 600 health some people have specialists that give them a thousand health so yeah like i was saying some people have a lot of health some people have a little bit of health some people move really fast some people move really slow uh and so all the all the characters play like pretty different from one another you know it, and you can't play you can't just jump on and pick a random character and be good with it and then pick another character and expect to do really well with them too you actually have to learn how to play you know different characters and that's not like call of duty at all you can pretty much play every you can use every gun in call of duty and they're all pretty you know the same whether you're using a kn44 or a cuda you know they both kill at similar ranges you know there's slight variations but there's not as big of a variation as there is in overwatch and you can't just pick up other people's guns in overwatch you can't kill somebody and, and pick up their guns you know that's another thing there's no ammo in overwatch i mean you have clip sizes you know you get you know 20 bullets in a clip and you have to reload but you don't ever run out of ammo that's not a thing so you don't have to worry about picking up guns or replenishing ammo or running out of ammo or whatever the other thing too is your health doesn't regenerate in overwatch you have to know when to go into a fight uh, and try and get the kill and you have to know when to retreat and find a health pack uh, and the health packs are pretty abundant you know they're pretty around you can find one pretty easily um so it's not like annoying where you have to run around with six health and you know you know that you're gonna die uh so you know it's 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 a good way to do it and you know i think that that makes a huge difference you know you can't just run around a corner and just wait and heal yourself up and s some characters can do that and that's the advantage and that's what i'm saying there's they're all different so i think it's a lot of fun to play overwatch and i wanted to just finish off on that statement um if you are a call of duty fan and you are open to a new learning experience if you're open to learning how to play a game that maybe requires more skill i definitely think overwatch requires more skill than call of duty hands down you know call of duty i i don't want to bash it but Call of Duty doesn't really take much skill, and I know that people are gonna be like, what are you talking about, you know, a 12 year old will never be as good as Crim6 or whatever, and, and I totally understand that, but the skill gap isn't as big in Call of Duty as it is in almost any other game. I mean, you know, you can jump into League of Legends and be a god after a month, but if you play Call of Duty for a month and you learn all the maps and stuff, you can be pretty good, I would say, you know? so. That's the reason that there's so many 10 year olds and 12 year olds on Call of Duty because even if they're uncoordinated and unfamiliar with shooting games and they just don't, this is the first game they've ever played on console, they're still gonna get kills and they're still gonna do well because the skill gap is not that big for Call of Duty and it's designed that way. And I don't mean to bash Call of Duty at all, but I'm just saying Overwatch does take a little bit more skill so you're going to need a, a little bit more patience when playing the game and if you're down for that, if you're down to put in the work uh, and it's really not that much work, I'm just saying call of duty is zero work and this is a little bit of work so don't be scared by that don't think that you're going to be garbage at the game uh for two months it's not the case uh but you know it's a more rewarding game because it requires more coordination and skill to play uh and it's a lot of fun so i really do encourage you to get the game learn how to play it uh you know learn how to play some characters some characters play very similar to call of duty players and i don't know what gameplay you're watching here but there is a character called tracer who um has low health but she can move really fast she can teleport uh you know three times uh, with one of her abilities she can rewind which is basically like rejack in call of duty or not rejack um glitch it's like glitch in call of duty where you can basically just go back to where you were and replenish all your health and ammo um, and she has two like close range submachine gun type of weapons. I think they're machine pistols or whatever, but uh, yeah, so she plays very similar to a Call of Duty, you know, run and gun character. There's Soldier 76 who has, uh, I think like a plasma rifle or something, or an assault rifle, who has the ability to sprint, which is, you know, not something that all characters have, but, you know, he can sprint around and he has an ability where he places down a healing radius uh, and he can regenerate health, just like in Call of Duty, you know, you can regenerate wherever you are. So both of those characters play very similar to Call of Duty classes, you know, submachine gun classes, assault rifle classes, and then there's other characters um 
you know like junk rat or, or whatever where you know he has a, a grenade launcher but the grenades bounce and his special ability has is called rip tire and it's and it's kind of like uh an rc car and there's players like winston who is a tank character and he can jump super high and super far but he has like a really short range uh, electric gun and, and he has a ton of health but doesn't do a lot of damage and there's, there's just so many different kinds of characters and so many different ways to play the game uh, and i hope you guys will get it uh if you do i'm on ps4 you can find my PS uh, username in the description below of all my videos and you can add me on there and maybe we can play sometime who knows um, so you know if you're into a game that again requires a little bit more skill but is really rewarding and really fun to play Overwatch is your game and I think that you're gonna like it even if all you play is Call of Duty so with that being said that's a bit it guys hopefully you enjoyed the video let me know in the comment section below do you have Overwatch are you planning on getting it what do you think of the game if you do have it uh, and that's about it so make sure you leave a rating on the video I would really appreciate that that would be awesome subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and that's about it guys so thanks for watching on the arc out peace